Greetings and welcome to Victor Videos. I'm Dave Dobbins. And I'm Lavila Craft. And thanks for joining us on our program today. We're going to look at the new record label called Goatee Records. And, and how guess, did this come about? Guess who started this label? Yeah, who's behind this label, Lavila? DC Talk. The multi talented really? group, three guys out there doing it for the Lord. Toby McKeon and a couple of other people in Nashville decided to form this brand new label. And what we're going to do for you on today's Victor videos is we're going to format or introduce, what's the correct term here? We're going to show you three <laughs> new really hot groups. And so stay tuned, stay in your seat because this is going to be a great show. We've got new groups called Out of Eden. Mm -hmm. What's the second one? Christophari. And Grits. And Grits, that's right. So you don't want to get up from your seat. The only thing you can do is go to the phone and call up your friends tell them this is going to be a really different show. Yeah. All right, we're going to get started off right away with the guys, the masters, the guys who are doing the thing. It's DC Talk and Love is a Verb on Victor Videos. <laughs> Vince, that new dummy cam is great. Yeah, it'll sure give people a whole new outlook on what it's like when you don't wear a safety belt. I think they'll get the picture. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. She is one of America's toughest drug enforcement agents. Last year, she helped convict 90 drug dealers, seized several tons of crack and marijuana, and closed down 10 major drug operations. She is a 68-year-old grandmother named Irma. She set up a community drug watch that is not only changing her neighborhood, but its future. There are many ways to help in your community. Call the Points of Light Foundation. Do something good. Feel something real. Uh, camera dude, Hello. we're over here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is Audio Adrenaline. We're on tour right now with the Newsboys, and uh, you're watching Victory, Victory videos. videos. So, uh, videos, uh, videos. Yeah. They Victory. have speech problems, that's why I do all the talking. <laughs> and uh, don't turn the channel. <laughs> Thanks for watching Victor Videos. I'm Dave Dobbins. We'd like to hear from you today. Tell us which videos you'd like to see on Victor Videos. If you have a prayer request, just drop us a note. Or if you need some information about Victor Videos, write to us at Victory Videos, Post Box 3292, Cincinnati, Ohio 45201. That's Victor Videos, Post Box 3292, Cincinnati, Ohio 45201. You need enough. Welcome back to Victory Videos. Today we're celebrating the talents and successes of a group called DC Talk. Boy, and they, you know what is so cool because they're not only wonderful, wonderfully talented, but they are also introducing groups to us. That's right. right. And even more importantly, we're introducing a new record company today called Go T Records, formed by, through the efforts of Toby McKeon and several others, and uh, because of their success, Lavilla, because of what they've done, it's it's neat to see how God is still doing a new thing. Oh, where'd you steal that from? From them. <laughs> it's neat to see how that they have grown to the point where they've had monetary success, and they've been able to take other new artists and bring them into the to the music place. So that's what we're celebrating today. Yeah. Uh, their success, but also what they've done with their success. They've not hid it under a bushel. They've taken it and they've shined it on the hillside to let other people see. Oh, I like that. So our first group yeah. is what? Well, let's introduce the first group. That would be okay. Out of Eden. Cool. Three young girls, 18, 16, and 14. So talented, so cute, and just wait to hear them sing. Uh, we're going to see an, uh, a piece of an interview that DC Talk sent us, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. Um, it's, it's so neat to see three young girls making a stand for Christ these days, isn't That's it? right, that's right. So let's check it out, and this is a Lovely Day from a new group, Out of Eden, on Victory Videos.
not just like some kind of hip hop label or some kind of rock label or some kind of alternative label. <laughs> it's music that moves the people. This is Joey. You know him as E Train. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. This is, uh. To what do we do? It. What do we call him these days? To the T, man. Just TC. TC, yeah. Todd Collins. We call him To the T back in the day. Him, he, he changed his name now. He it's changes you. it every week, man. To the T and Disco Dan. <laughs> The Goatee family is a big family full of cousins, uncles, aunts, sisters, brothers. I mean, all three of us have, you know, we worked, obviously worked on all the DC Talk records. I mean, it takes a lot more people to, to, to make a record than, than people would imagine. It takes a family of people. We really wanted to start a label that kind of captures the essence of the kind of music that we grew up with. I would say, from my perspective, quality music, um, that's trying to reach people for Christ and also uh, some vibe thrown in, you know? Goatee wouldn't groove unless the people can use it. Exactly. Yeah, you know. Exactly. <laughs> that's our motto. I think the bottom line is, is the, the reason I'm in music, the whole reason I'm in music and anything I have to do with music, whether it's DC Talk or whether it's Goatee uh, or whether we're just producing somebody that has nothing to do with Goatee Records. Um, the reason is because I want to reach our generation. Our first video. Our first. Well, actually, it wasn't our first video. Oh, gosh. Yes, it was. <laughs> we sent, no, I guess so. tell this. We sent this tape where we were dancing to this song called Bible Break by Steve and Wally. And people in a box. And, by and, and Fair. people in a box by Farrell and Farrell all, like, doing MC Hammer and stuff like that. They had on these <laughs> leggings, these black leggings and these white, yellow, black <laughs> <yellow. laughs> Hot yellow shirt, like this color, this yellow shirt on. It was like a, a vest, and they're all, you know, doing this. It was funny, and I thought I was being a Jackson hat on like this black blazer and these black shorts. It was, that was our first video, Lovely Day is much better. It's more us, we're not, you know, dressing up for anything. It's just the way we dress every day. It's just us, our vibe, I guess. We taped it at Six different places: Sedona, Sedona, Arizona, Seattle, Washington, Santa Monica, yeah, San Jose, St. Louis, St. Louis, San Francisco. San Francisco. I had a lot of fun. We have Stacy Tron in it from Grits, and he has his cameo appearance. Crazy, flipping, flipping on the swings. <laughs> it was just really fun to do that video. I don't know. It's just beautiful. All God's creation is just beautiful.
Grinch means uh, grammatical revolution in the spirit. Know what I'm saying? Christ the far eye. Out of Eden. Eden is the place where all civilization began. Not Chris Taffery. Grinch is, like you said, grammatical revolution in the spirit. It's an acronym. And we're not Christ in the safari bunch. We're not like any, the average, what you would for say Christian rap group. Or crystal fairies. No. We just really feel as Christians and as human beings, we have all have roots in something. And it's where you put your roots is where what's going to come out, what's going to grow. We just some um, couple guys that like hip hop music, don't want to give it up. Christ the Fari means Christ the Creator. Christ the Lord we worshiped in Latin and in Greek. It means, Christophoros means those who bear or represent Christ's name. Well, we were in a studio and we were trying to figure out a name. I think Toby was like something about Eden or something. He came up with a whole bunch of names. I think the one that stuck with us the most was out of Eden. Our name really is more or less for the meaning of those who aren't, aren't, you know, believers in, in Christ. Believers will go, grammatical revolution, well, they don't sound like they're saying too much about Christ to me, but to an unbeliever, the little things we say is a lot. My name is Mark Moore. Uh, they call me Tan Sobak, which means kicking back, relaxing, not watching anything, just hanging. Right after I had written my first song, I had a, a rock band, a Christian rock band back me up. The bassist of the rock band who later on discipled me said in jest, so you're not a Rastafarian anymore, you're a Christafarian. And it just kind of stuck. Man, we've been doing this for like 20 years, man. Now don't you hate stories like that? We've been together doing it like four, four or five years. Since like we met from day one, it was just something mutual there. And it was something that I've always wanted to do. And I guess it was like more like a dream of of his. I'm James Puck, they call me Jai. I was doing the the secular scene. I was really getting burnt out working with secular musicians. One day I said, God, I wish I could find a Christian band. Got a phone call. We turned the call. It was a Christian band looking for. This is three days later. So I hooked up with these guys. Been there ever since. Through working with other bands and just kind of doing little reggae projects, I got hooked up with this guy, met him at a beach at a Bible study. And I am Eric. They call me Eric. <laughs> Welcome back to Victor Videos. How you doing? Hope you're enjoying our new look at new artists from Goatee Records. Yeah. Hot stuff. How'd you like that first Were group out of Eden? Were they cute or what? They Did are. I tell you they were cute? Well, what's really neat is to see Lavila how God has used them and how yes. God's working in their life. There's that spirit of God that's even in young people today. It's just so exciting. It's wonderful to see somebody open for that movement, that change. It really is. Yeah. And they're handling success really well. Mm -hmm. Second group, the new group called Christopher. Christopher yes. And man, they are very different, man. They're from Jamaica, man. <laughs> Well, I don't know if they're from Jamaica, well, but they spent some time down there, and the guys have a great reggae sound. As soon as you listen to it, it makes you want to take your shoes off and get to the sand. That's right. The yeah. first Christian reggae group, mm -hmm. very first. Yeah, nobody else, really yeah, first? nobody else has really done this yet, so this is really cool. They they spent seven years in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and uh, different sound. Three Come guys. Away, yeah. I Come think on. we should just check them out. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is Christopher I, and called. Listening, man. Check it out. <laughs> I can't do it, I'll take man. Shoes off. I would like to take off my shoes. After being at a um six-day reggae festival where we went backstage and handed out Bibles and talked to the artists and stuff. We all hopped in a bus and took a, a four-hour car ride to um, Port of Antonio where we uh, shot some, some footage <laughs> at a beach. We just, you know, mellow, kicked back, did some singing, walked around the jungle, played in the water. It was a lot of fun. Natives walking around, people, people just in their everyday lives. You know, this beautiful island scenery that just takes you right there to the place and makes you, if you haven't been there, want to go there. Mm -hmm. What you saw wasn't us acting. What you saw was us truly interacting with the people mm -hmm. and just putting our feet into their shoes and stepping into the culture and ministering. Most people want to step out of their little, you know, their little um, resort or whatever. You know, but when you step out, it's a total opportunity to to, um, <clears throat> to witness, 
talk to people about the Lord because people are constantly coming up to you asking to braid your hair, especially me, or, you know, to buy some marijuana or to buy their beads or whatever, you know. It's just a really great opportunity to speak with people and it's constant. It's like people don't leave you alone. You pass out one Bible and one person spots it from across the road and they're all running across. <laughs> give me one, give me one. You pass out a track and instead of people throwing it in the next garbage can on the ground, they're opening it and reading it. That's what we've been doing. That's what I've been doing for seven years in Jamaica. And to have that on film and be able to show that to America, to people, I, I pray that it'll influence people to do missions in Jamaica. It won't influence people to, oh, I want to go on a vacation there, but to, I want to go and reach those people for Jesus. I've got a heart for those people. Just to be an example and just to reach out 
to people that really need to be reached out to. Going out into the world and preaching the gospel, and we want to do that too. A lot of times after shows, people will come up to us and tell us about their problems, and it's really cool helping them and stuff like that. If we can't live for Christ and um, not care about what people are going to say, then we don't need to. We could just we need to be doing our own thing. We need to be at the point to where it doesn't matter what people say. If he's pleased or unpleased, you know, that's that's what matters. The reason we do Christ of Fire is for the edification of the body, to, um, to uplift and to encourage other brothers and sisters in Christ. But we consider ourselves all in ministry and ministers. When we get up on stage, it's not just a musical performance that we're singing and doing stuff we love to do, but we also love to minister to the crowd. When we talk to people after the show, I want them to know that we're not just doing this for the heck of it. We're doing this because we care. On the DC Talk Tour, I got a, this girl was like, um, her mother wasn't a Christian, her father wasn't a Christian, she was a Christian, and she was just struggling and trying to be an example. It was so hard because you get mad and everything, and I got an opportunity to pray with her. If anything, all we want is, all, is everyone support and prayer because we feel we're gonna go a lot of places and reach a lot of people that otherwise would never get reached. It may not look like it, but you're watching the future of the Earth pass by. Because many of these products are made from materials you've been recycling. But to keep recycling working, you need to buy products that say, made from recycled materials. For all those next in line, it would mean the world to them. If you can boil water, you can cook a meal for someone who can't. Your local volunteer center can show you how easy it is. Just like moons and like suns, with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Bringing the gifts that my ancestors gave, I am the hope and the dream of the slave. And so, Rise. You're watching Victory Videos. I am Dave Dobbins. Join me in La Vila Craft each week as we bring you the very best in today's contemporary Christian music videos. Victory Videos is your source for all of your favorite artists, including Stephen Curtis Chapman, DC Talk, and For Him, just to name a few. Great music, entertaining yet thought-provoking conversations, interesting interviews with today's top Christian recording artists. The mixture makes Victory Videos a powerful and exciting program to watch. Tell somebody today about Victory Videos. Oh, well, welcome back to Victory Videos. Today we're talking about Goatee Records. And guess who it's by? Who? DC Talk. That's right. <laughs> you know what I found that's interesting um, in this piece is that they've mentioned strongly that not only do they have spiritual guidance from God, but they also have family members backing them up. They've got aunts and uncles and moms mm -hmm. and dads and everything in this involved in the label. It seems to be, as we look at these clips, Laville, you can see a real family starting to be created between the three groups and between DC Tops talks Tony uh -huh. uh, uh, McKeon and, and all the guys that are involved. It, it's, it's not just a business, but it's kind of an expanded business. Yeah. Now, the transformation of three complete unknowns intending the small, conservative Liberty University in Virginia into the hottest group in Christian music has been the stuff that music business is made of. And it's because of these guys' success that they have been able to, I'm repeating myself, but they've been able to help launch these three groups. Mm -hmm. without, without the success of DC Talk, we wouldn't have Out of Eden, Grits, Christofari, or any of the other groups and like, there's probably you know, more coming. Uh, yeah, plenty more. So, so let's so check we'll it out. you guys. All right, we appreciate it. <laughs> it's time to do a little boogie, and it's time to check out DC Talk again, the masters at work, and Jesus is just all right on Victory Videos. What is this guy? Great.
Jack is jacked beyond comprehension. I believe that I failed to mention that there's a lack of recognition when it comes to his position. Cause if Christ can't be crossed over, then I'll keep my beat up Nova. Jesus is still alright with me. In place, and I'm all up in your face with a rhyme that I embrace. Like a mother to her child, I'm kicking it Jesus style. To the ones that think they heard, I did use the J word. Cause I ain't too soft to say it, even if DJs don't play it. on Victory Videos, that was DC Talk, and Jesus is just all right. He's better than just all right. He is That's the reason. That's a great rendition. I love yes. it. He's the reason that we're here, and we're thankful for Jesus being in our lives and changing our hearts from within. Yes. I'm grateful. Listen, listen to your And heart. we're thankful for you. I'm glad that you are here, because mm -hmm. uh, without you being there, we have, would have no reason to be here. You mean I could be home on a Monday night? You could. <laughs> Well, thanks for joining us today on Victor Videos. We're looking at the new sounds of a new record label called Goatee Records, if you just joined us. And uh, we're ready to introduce and to give out yet to you... Yet another one. Yet another one, darling. <laughs> and this is called, a group called... Grits. Grits. Most people have this for breakfast, but you're going you're gonna to get this at I would have doses. this anytime. Anytime. This is great. There's These guys a lot are cool. of grooves. I mean, you know, you can't put a label on this one. <laughs> okay, two guys, right? Right. Two, two guys, guys, two black from, guys. Where was it? Uh, North Carolina? I don't remember I don't where they're from, Somewhere but uh, out there. GRIT stands for Gravitational Revolution in the Spirit. We'll be testing you on that later. He wouldn't let me say that. <laughs> but this is, this is kind of different. Um, this is, um, well, it's, you know. I like it's, it. It's, it's, it's a mix of rap and urban, and I call it kind of slow rap, but check it out. This is a new group called Grits. So rap you couldn't keep up. Oh no, I couldn't keep up. <laughs> this is called Set Your Mind at Ease on Victor Videos. <laughs>
was married half a year ago. Now I have a son on the way. Yeah, when's he due? He's due February 6th. You got my money? <laughs> Who is this? This is live right now. Hi, Delicia. You need to speak to Stacy. Oh, okay. Oh, it's for me? It's your wife on your cellular phone. Oh, okay. Hold on. Does it look real? Hello. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, um, it's his wife know. on his cellular phone. She has to keep no. up with it. I'm, I mean, I, I know. Oh. I believe humor is a God-given gift. I mean, if you use it right, I mean, of course, you can go overboard sometimes, which we I, when I talk do about like every day. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah, it's going to be definitely be there in whatever we do. I mean, whether it's on the mic or hanging out, walking down the street, it's going to always yeah. be there. Oh, yeah. He Don't let quiet. him fool you, because... You know, his, he is not like this, okay? I mean, Amen. I mean, when you see us like just Reach regular every day, <laughs> uh, we get serious sometimes, but for 90% of the time, we're always laughing and joking at stuff. And um, I feel like it's important that people see that, you know, a natural, a real pure joy, not something that's fabricated. You know, people try to act like they're, oh, I'm excited, I'm excited in the Lord. You know, when it's really not like that, <laughs> when they go home and lay their head on their pillow, you know, they're miserable. You know, and I mean, for people, so people, we just want to stay real, basically. It's, it's easy for us to sit at home and watch other people's video, but when you're doing your own, it's, that's a whole nother ball game, you know? Cause there's so many things that go along. I mean, it's like, man, am I look? I mean, do I look natural? You try to be yourself, but there's some about a camera rolling. You just you have to go into your little actor skills a little bit, you know. And then you don't. I mean, especially for us, we don't like. We don't want to look like the on videos. We didn't want. We don't look want to look like the. Same old, same old, you know, guys on the mic, all, oh, you know what I'm saying, all. Oh, because, I mean, that's not us anyway. You know, that's not us anyway. We're not the type of group that a record company would actually love to market <laughs> because we're not, we don't, we don't cater to a certain audience. We just kind of, if you like us, you like us, you know. And if you pick up on us, you do. If you don't, then you don't. They didn't put us together. Hey, you guys sound good rapping together. You know, do this video, put fire behind you, and uh, we're gonna put you in the alley, hold this gun, and, and you know, but it was fun. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be different, I guess, for, for some people. They're gonna, because when you think hip hop or whatever, you automatically, you know, blunt stunts in 40s, you know. That's beer, girls, and uh, marijuana, for those who don't know. But ours, you know, we tried to stay really, really real with ours. Like for the fact that we're from Tennessee. Well, what do we have to hide for, you know? So we had some nice, very nice um, countryside shots that those parents will love out there. So pay attention to that. And then we have the other side of, you know, the urban side, but it wasn't like, you know, we had like guys walking around looking mean, it wasn't nothing like that. We just found some nice locations to basically, um, that fit the concept of our song, so. It'll be surprising for those. It'll be it'll be interesting, you know, to um, see it come across and see how people react to it. Let's try to be my victim. The thought of the purpose. 
for greater now was later You're older, a little brighter, a little bolder Clear your head, shake the kicks, you should think You slip ship, they sink, I think I'm on the brink But I won't let it take me under, no So sip the sweet tea and set your mind at ease I'ma let you know to set your mind at ease Set your mind at ease of my birth on an earth unfair to a brother so i try to let it pass and progress but i'm stressed from the news on my neck so check it never will i quit cause it's better that i never sit sleep or stop cause my abilities in doubt in the minds of those overseeing like ripley they can't believe it so i wonder how do brown cows make chocolate milk for the people that's addictive even if it's artificial one for the food stamps too for the wick, three for the government check on the fifth it was late and you say i should thank you for the help that was given to the brothers as a free way of living so success won't exist in our mind keep us blind by the loop subconsciously in prison thanks my favorite uncle for the chains and pains and the strains on my people to make us feel equal the sequel of Watts and king will surely swing My suggestion for brothers, relief of aggression is to look to resurrection for your peace. Seven times 70 is hard to conceive, but love will definitely set your mind, set your mind at ease. Set your mind at ease, won't you please set your mind at ease from the pressure. Set your mind at ease, won't you please set your mind at ease from the pressure. Set your mind at ease, won't you please set your mind at ease from the pressure. Set your mind at ease, won't you please set your mind at ease from the pressure. children of this nation are being held prisoner. Their playgrounds are no place to play in. Their neighborhoods are no place to grow up in. Their athletic fields are no place for sports. Their world has become a jail. Their captors are fear and violence. Your kids shouldn't have to grow up this way. Give your children back their childhood. In the fight against violent crime, you have a weapon. 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Do something now. 1-800-WE-PREVENT. Together, we will take a bite out of crime. Hi Cincinnati, I'm Kim Boyce. Keep it right here for the very best in contemporary Christian music with Dave Dobbins and LaVila Craft. Tired of the same old TV programs? Then you need to check out Victory Videos. Hi, I'm Dave Dobbins. Join me and LaVila Craft for an hour of the best in contemporary Christian music videos. Entertaining yet thought-provoking conversations and interesting interviews with today's top Christian recording artists. All of this and so much more can be found right here on Victor Videos. So what are you waiting for? Victor Videos is your choice for today's Christian music.
Okay, so that's what we're talking <laughs> like we're talking about. Okay. It's pretty cute. It's pretty good. So anyway, so you should tell them now, I think. Okay. You should tell them they're over there. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dave and I were just talking about yeah. how we think it's so cool that the Spirit of God is still so alive in these ministries and many other, and it's just it's just wonderful to see so many new groups springing up, and it wouldn't be happening if God wasn't working. That's right. And, you know, if you think about LaVilla, a lot of times when people look at the news and they see so much bad news, yeah. the perception is that God is not alive, that he's, he's not working in people's lives, but that's not true because... He gave uh, many, well, I think uh, DC Talk came on the, on the scene in, in the early 90s. They were attending uh, Liberty University in Virginia, Jerry Falwell School. Who would think that these guys would come out of that? But they had the Spirit of God in them, so powerful, they just went out and exploded, and people were so hungry, so hungry to hear the Word through rap and through rock and through music, they just ate it up, and they're continuing to. To steal, an, to steal another phrase, yes. he's still king of the jungle, right? <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Amen. Don't you agree? All right. Okay, so they're truly masters at what they're doing, and you'll see this true on the next video that we're going to show from DC Talk. And this is a, a story about uh, guys who have to find out about the truth of God the hard way because some of them end up in prison. This is DC Talking the hard way on Victor Videos.
day. Hey. This has been a great show. This is great. Hey, camera dude. Hey, hey. camera dude. We're over here, man. <laughs> camera dude. Hey. This How way. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. These, this is this help we get. I know. You know what they're going to do here. <laughs> Actually, it's the producer back there. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on our program today. And, you know, if we've never said this before, we would love to hear from you. We want what letters. Dave, Dave's got a whole big space in his garage waiting for letters. letters. <laughs> Please write to us. Post Box 3292, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45201. That's Post Box 3292, Cincinnati, Ohio, 45201. Tell us what your favorite videos are, which host you like the best. <laughs> Uh, no, don't put that part down, and whatever else. Mm, that's yeah, cute, Dad. I got that out of the way. Yeah. Okay, you can pay me for that now. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed Goatee, finding out a little bit about these new artists. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. How about you? That's it? That's Just it. Just you enjoyed it? Well, no, not really. I could go on forever, but I, I don't think you want me to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, God is doing a new thing, and it's really interesting and neat to see the, the power of the Spirit in these new artists. And uh, one of the guys in uh, Goatee said a quote that I want to read. He said, today's youth is tomorrow's future. So just remember that as you support somebody in your church who maybe just got a new song. and They're banging it out on a guitar or piano. And you, that could be somebody new who's Encourage got that spirit to, to carry on. Thanks for being with us today. And uh, we'll see you next week, same time. Same place. That's right. Dave Dobbins. La Vila Craft. Remember, love somebody today with the love of Jesus. And Catch thank God time. we're free at last. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> now I think I have to go find that video to put that at the end. A brand new thing to your raggedy wall. You might just match it up to that big old wall. God is so lonely.